Out today, information just arrived straight from the Detroit Red Wings arena, the Red Wings are watching to bring it, if you want to stay on top of all the Red Wings news, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest news on first hand. Pros and cons of Red Wings chasing Alex to bring it. Detroit Red Wings GM Steve Eiserman has made no secret of one key area he thinks his team should update ahead of the 2023-24 season. We have to score more, said Eiserman. Manager Derek Lalonde added, Obviously we would love some natural 50-goal scorers. The fact is, 50-goal scorers don't grow on trees. But, it looks like a 40-goal two-time scorer might be available for the taking. According to published reports, forward Alex Dabrinkit has no appetite to stay with the Ottawa Senators. Dabrinkit scored 27 goals for Ottawa last season. However, he twice rose to the 40-goal threshold with the Chicago Blackhawks, his former team. Leave your like on this video so you don't miss the latest Red Wings news firsthand. Ottawa traded this year's first and second round picks, as well as a 2024 third round pick to Chicago last year for Dabrinkit. Now, evidently, he wants out of the Canadian capital. Expectations are that if the Senators and Dabrinkit can't agree on a contract extension soon, he will likely move to a new team before the completion of his NHL entry draft. Should Detroit be interested if Dabrinkit enters the commercial market? Red Wings TV analyst Mickey Redmond, himself a two-time 50-goal scorer, certainly thinks so. Redmond was keen to launch a campaign for Dabrinkit on the post-game show following the club's farewell regular season telecast. Pros, why Dabrinkit to Red Wings makes sense. Obviously, for starters, Dabrinkit fills a pressing need. He is a natural goal scorer. He scored no less than 27 goals in five of his six seasons in the NHL. Eisenman has had success in the past adding former Blackhawks forwards. Dominic Kubalik was the top 20 goal scorer this season and Pius Suter proved to be a useful forward who hit double figures in goals in both seasons with the Red Wings. Dabrinkit was born in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Perhaps a homecoming is something he finds attractive. Cons, Detroit and Dabrinkit go together well. At 5 feet 10 inches and 170 pounds, Dabrinkit would add another smaller player to a team that's already on the small side. Both Lalonde and Eisenman were acknowledging that another pertinent off-season mission is to turn the Red Wings into a consistently tougher team to tackle. We have to be a more physical team, Eisenman said. We have to be a more competitive team. It doesn't necessarily mean that I have to go out and get someone who's 6 to 6, 250, to go out and beat people up. Hey Red Wings fan in your opinion what do you think of Dabrinkit? In your opinion, would it be a good deal or not? Put your opinion in the comments, because your comment is very important for the Red Wings. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, because at any time I will give you more information exclusively.